they're queer, and they're coming for your children. I didn't say it. They said it. When I keep telling people this is the end goal, they think I'm just talking crazy. Well, you're hearing it right from the horse's mouth. They're here, they're queer, and they're coming for your children. How much are we going to tolerate as a people? How much are we going to tolerate? A, a, a nation that wouldn't stand for its children deserves to be wiped out. This really parallels, the society right now really parallels the fall of the Roman Empire. Because back at the Roman Empire's decline, it, it mirrors exactly what's going on in the Western Empire. You see, empire is as strong as the Western Empire, the American Empire nowadays, I say time and time again, do not get conquered from the outside because they're too powerful in weaponry. They destroy themselves from the inside. They implode because of the moral decadence, the infighting with the cultures and the kleptocracy of the politicians. That's how they self-sabotage. Like the Chinese proverb says, God I thank God for making my enemies fools. And Shun Tzu, the art of war, he said, when your enemy is making a mistake, do not interrupt him. Russia, China, and all these people are on the same level as the US or as the West as a collective that are in direct competition with the West don't have to be in competition with the West because they have surpassed the West in technology, in economy. GDP and all that. All they have to do now is just chill, relax. The West is trying to poke them, trying to fight them and all that. They're talking about by 2025, they're going to be at war with China. How is that going to work out? China produces everything the West uses. <laughs> so, they just chill, relax, watch you destroy yourself. Because this whole immorality of the rainbow thing that's going on in the West is one of the reasons why the West is not respected and not taken seriously by other cultures that have been around for thousands of years. China has been around for thousands of years. The Middle East, the Arabian culture have been around for thousands of years. The African culture have been around for thousands of years. The Western culture is pretty much the new kid on the block. And they want the rest of these cultures to go their way. And these cultures see their way as, as a car that's driving off course. Just a matter of time. Because they're asleep on the wheel. Why would anyone want to get in that car with y'all? Look at this. You see this nonsense? It's right in your faces. They're here. They're coming for the kids. If you're not going to do anything to protect your children, you deserve what you get. That's a grown ass man. In his pants. In the streets twerking for kids how disgusting does that does that sound to you if you're listening to my voice right now maybe you're like visually impaired or something you listen to my voice right just imagine what i'm saying there's a full-grown man 60s in his loose white pants on the streets shaking his behind in front of kids wriggling his waist and is growing for little kids. D I take that back. Don't imagine that. You're going to scar yourself. You see this? You see this? They're being cheered on. You see why fathers are very important in the kids' lives? What sane father is going to let the mother bring their children to this nonsense? This is madness. A lot of these kids standing there like this is wrong but they can't really do nothing about it because the grown-up brought them there see because you can have sex and have kids doesn't mean you're capable of having kids of raising kids going against nature is the quickest way to destroy yourself and your society look at this are you seeing what i'm seeing here Look, look at his parents. They were their kids. All, in, all in, in the name of tolerance, acceptance, 
diversity, you know, inclusivity. Those are the buzzwords they use to lure you into their mess, to their nonsense. They're anything but tolerant. They're anything but tolerant. I'll play the video on it, you see. You see them debasing, insulting, assaulting a preacher, a, a, a Christian preacher. This is the tolerant left. <laughs> The ego of these people is getting too much because we tolerate it. You see that? These are grown men riding bicycles naked in front of children. They're naked. They don't have nothing on. They don't have anything on. Their dicks swinging all over the place. These are grown men riding bicycles in broad daylight on a busy street in front of kids naked the police won't do anything about it nope they are not if the police catch you pissing in the park you'll be placed in the sex uh, sex offenders register but all you have to do is claim, uh, claim to be in the rainbow gang and you can walk around with your tits hanging out walk around with your dick swinging in front of kids the tolerant left, go on. A country, a nation that wouldn't protect the most innocent, which are the kids, a nation that wouldn't protect them, deserve its decline. I'll, I keep, I'll keep saying that until I keep pounding into people's heads. Most of all these nations in the Bible that the Lord ended up destroying, like whether you believe in Christianity or not, I'm not really not a religious person. A lot of these nations, when they were doing all this, fine. Then they started sacrificing kids. They started harming the innocent. That was when God was like, nah, I need to wipe these people out. America is doing a better job of that by themselves. Wiping themselves out. These are grown men. Naked. Naked right there. Children everywhere. Is this the, is this the, the LGBT culture? Is this it? Just immorality? Like BDSM? masochist is this it so you can't have a parade like this where you have the lgbt people showcasing their inventions celebrating some sort of technological advancement that the lgbt coalition has can bolster about academically you know in sports and all that stuff why is it Sex, 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 sex. The far, far, far end of it. The extreme end of it. Like people walking around just like dogs and being chained and walking around like that. Pole dancing, teaching kids how to pole dance. Why is this? Do you see heterosexual people going around, a man, with his, if a man and a woman were walking around naked like this, two straight couples, they'll be arrested immediately. You don't see the rest of us doing this. Why do they feel so confident that they can do this? The entitlement of these people. We tolerate it. We tolerate it. Look at this, man. These are naked people. Look, the kids there. You wouldn't let your child watch porn at that age, yet you bring them to a live sex show. This is the culture of the West now. This is the culture of the West. If you're watching this video and you're not in the West, you're from another country. This is the culture of the West. So a lot of them, a lot of foreigners are coming here to work because the economy is bad over there in their country. They're coming here to work and all that stuff. They want to come for the better life and all that. But when they come and then realize and see all this, they're like, oh, this is not the way. This is not the way. 
they work work their ass off, save as much money as they can, go back home and invest in stuff because the currency goes a long way back there and they can live a comfortable life, a king life. But if they're here, they'll live a pauper life and they'll be subjected to this. So who would want to live with this when you've experienced real culture? This is the Western culture now. This is it. This is it. You're, you're teaching kids how to pole dance. Look at this, right? You're teaching a child, a boy, and it's always boys because they're always trying to feminine men. Teaching boys how to pole dance, a little boy. And look at that. Barking like a dog, acting like animals to intimidate this preacher that's just there trying to preach. You can see the preacher's face, the, the, the heartbreak in his face to see his country and everything collapse in front of him. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Your God ain't going to save you because God has given you all the tools for you to save yourself. If you're not going to save yourself, you deserve what you get. Look at this. The tolerant left. The tolerant they want to be included. They offer inclusivity. As long as it favors them. You hear one time where the, the uh, couple was being sued because they wouldn't bake a, a cake for a gay wedding. So the, the gay couple was suing them because the bakery wouldn't do it because they're Christians. The same way you want people to respect your way of life. Why don't you show the same courtesy to other people? Respect their beliefs. If people are letting you to walk around with a leash on your neck acting like a dog, if people are letting you do that, the least you can do is let a preacher preach. Because whether you realize it or not, these religious people are the majority. Look, look, look at that, look at that. This really hurt. This really hurts me a lot. A lot, like seeing little black kids doing this. There is a woman there. <clears throat> I think she's a woman's rights activist or something. Over there in the middle, trying to protest, and see all these people intimidating her, pushing her, assaulting her. Why don't you just let people be people? You want people to let you be you. Leave people alone. Look at that. Bunch of black kids. Bunch of offsprings of club club holes. Because I guarantee you, a man is not going to sit around and tolerate this nonsense. A man that wants to instill discipline. A lot of the time, these this men, wants, wants, they want to stay. They want to instill discipline in their children and bring them up the right way. But the mothers won't allow them. Because the mothers have this mentality that the children are theirs. In Africa, the mentality is the children belongs to the man. But here in the Western world, the children belongs to the woman. And she can decide to frustrate you and have an access to your kids. A lot of this time, these men, these black men, I, this is what I know of, my race of people. A lot of the time, these men are like, well, f fuck it, I'm done. And that same man would successfully raise a solid family somewhere else. But the kids left with that single club hole he had a child with. The kid's going to look like this boy over here with the pink stuff on his head looking like a weirdo. Confused. Confused. Look at him. Look, 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 look. She'd be somewhere playing a football game right now. Somewhere being athletic, trying to be a young man. He's over there marching for nonsense with a pink or orange or whatever nonsense wig he has on his head. Intimidating women. Look at this. Be mindful who you sleep with. Be mindful who you breed with. Be mindful who you're going to have kids with. 
When someone show you who they are, believe them. Don't be giving no one the benefit of the doubt that, oh, maybe they're just acting like this because it's just a bad day. Because they, no, 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 no. When someone show you who they are, believe them. These are offspring of club holes. Have some self-respect, man. Leave these 